still having car issues my car is still at the dealership but one thing i'm really grateful for to god is that i work just right down the street from where i live and it's not far at all it's like five ten minute walk and so I'm really grateful for that. The thought is, it's cold. I don't think it's that cold today. So I'm gonna make this walk down the street. Exercise is good for me. I need to be healthy. So. I'm gonna go walking. I don't mind walking. <laughs> Look, when I was in Africa, we walked everywhere. I walked everywhere. If there was car running, you have to wait for like 30 minutes to an hour to get A car and when our car comes <laughs> you're gonna have to fight to get in because it's only four person four or five person in the car and you're gonna have to like fight to get in and for me I don't have the energy to fight so I rather walk two three hours to get somewhere to get to my location then to go fight and hurt myself trying to get in a car so when i was back home right after the war most people we walk everywhere so walking is not a problem to me at all i don't i don't mind walking and I don't have to walk an hour. I just have to walk 10, 15 minutes, get to my destination. So I don't mind. During the war in my country, we were running everywhere, looking for survival. We were walking days. And I just believe that all those things happened because for, for a reason, God was preparing me <laughs> for this day. Look, I don't like to I don't like to think negative. I like to try my best to live my life as positive as I can. Because negative is hard. So, walking to work, I just consider it uh, exercise for me. And I'll be okay. <laughs> Other people don't have car, but I do have car so i'm grateful for that it's broken right now but you know <laughs> it's okay it's, it gave me time to walk and get some exercise and my work is not that far away so i'm okay i'm all buckled up i could have people take me to work i have a lot of good neighbors really good neighbors that could take that would be that's willing to take me to work but i don't want it. it i mean it's not snowing i mean if it was snowing and snow all over the ground uh, it's not snowing and it's not that cold so i'm gonna walk totally gonna walk it's just nothing it's gonna a little bit dark 
it's it's only after seven it's a bit dark really dark if you can see feels like six six o'clock in the morning <laughs> i like it no complaints yet <laughs> My work is just right down the street, so it's okay. I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. <laughs> what I have been through in my life, this is nothing close to whatever I've been through in my life. So I am quick to adapt and adjust. That's just me. I always believe that whatever happens in my life, God has something to do with it. And there is a reason. So I don't take this to be anything. I'm all right. I'm praying that my car will be ready this week. And if it's not ready this week, that's okay too. I mean, I ain't never owned a car in my life. In my life, I never owned a car. But I can say here today that I have a car. Yeah, I used to walk everywhere, everywhere, even because I remember my husband and I, we had just one car. Couldn't yeah, afford two cars, but we had just one, and he had to go to work and take the car with him. And I didn't have a driver license to, you know, drive him to work and then come back home and then, you know, go and pick him up after work. So I couldn't, I couldn't use the car. So I, I walked everywhere. And when I used to walk everywhere, I just used to be grateful to God that He given me this opportunity because. During the war in my country, I was walking everywhere, okay, for that 14 years. And I'm in the United States and I'm walking everywhere. And it's not that far, like how I used to walk for days. And I, I'm thinking to myself, wow, thank you, God, for preparing me for this. <laughs> you know, thanks for preparing me for this day. I. You allow, you allow me to walk so I can be ready forever for whatever walks that come my way. <laughs> and this is nothing. I'm just grateful that I have my life and I have my family. We are all okay. I know my older son is far away from me, but he's okay. We are survivors we survive we survive that's what we do so nothing to work i cannot tell the lord what the lord has done for me i cannot tell the lord cannot describe he has done a lot for me 
and so I am grateful that I'm here today and I'm, I'm not I'm not in a hospital I'm here I'm still breathing I'm alive and I'm not in the hospital there are others who are in the hospital right now as we as I speak and they have everything but they are in the hospital I am not better than those people that are in the hospital I'm not better than those people that are losing their family member to health issues to the coronavirus I'm not better than them <clears throat> so I should be grateful for every day that God allowed me to be alive I have my two feet my two hands my eyes even though I can't see it that much but with glasses I can see all right so what is there to be complaining about what is there to be complaining about I don't see any reason why I should complain I have even though my mother she's not healthy but she's alive and I'm doing my best to take care of her she's okay I try my best to talk to my mom every other day you know just checking on her she's the only mother I will ever have like me I'm a mother too so I know what it is to be a mom and don't have any uh, help for anybody so I also have my two boys even though I have one that is so far away from me but he's okay he's surviving all right he is surviving he's okay nothing wrong with him being away and I have my youngest son who is with me my focus now is to do my best and take care of him and hopefully one of these days I can take him to go see his brother and his grandma because he missed him a whole lot so I have my wonderful husband who's always by my side. I mean, I'm happy. All right. I am happy. Life is good. There is no complaints here. I am not trying to complain. Life is good. I'm not going to be the first or the last person to walk to work. <laughs> oh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I can walk. I have my two feet. To walk and uh, work is not far away I, I need to be to work at 7 30 and I'm almost there so when I get there I'm taking my time and when I get there I'll be fine it's a beautiful morning it's beautiful look at the mountains whoa can you see the mountains from here it's beautiful love it i love utah some of my favorite states <laughs> i've been in few states <laughs> uh, well i've been in utah i've been to washington dc i've been to washington state i've been to um where else did i go <laughs> idaho yeah i went to idaho i've been there anywhere <laughs> i was in hawaii so, well, yeah, Hawaii and Utah is my favorite state so far. <laughs> I love it here. It's so calm and peaceful. No too much rush. No too much rush. So, guys, I want to say thank you for following me. Thanks for all your support. I do appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, let God bless you in everything that you do. And remember, God time is always the best time because life is not easy. Sometimes things will get so, so hard 
and you really want to like give up but don't give up do not give up because as long there is life there is hope it might take long for god to answer you or come to your aid but don't give up he's coming he's a god that never fails he never 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 fails just wait for him with faith and be strong be patient and when that time comes to for him to answer your prayers he will answer it with he will enter answer it abundantly like you will not be expecting what god god has in store for you so don't give away whatever life may take you whatever life take, life life takes you do not give up be strong be strong and i love you guys if you haven't followed me on my youtube channel guys go look for me look for linda samuel cleaning tips and just subscribe and watch the video just for support you know and for those of you who following me i want to say thank you very very much for those of you who already subscribed to my channel i want to say thank you very very much let god bless you in all ways anything i'm almost at my word <laughs> i just been taking my time i should have been there a long time ago but I'm just being, i just i'm just taking my time i'm not in a hurry and bye